What's up, YouTube? Bruce Baseball Rules here, coming at you with um, one in person, well, two games and one in person autograph recap. I got a bunch of recaps to catch up on, guys, from about the past three months. Well, yeah, three months, basically, a lot of stuff to show, guys. You'll want to watch the the coming vids that are coming. But anyways, I'm sorry, guys. I'm not making any videos. Just busy finishing up the school year. Had finals and all that good stuff to finish out the school year, and then. Summer so far has been great for me, but just really, really busy. So I'm going to try and catch up on my recaps and stuff, guys. I'm going to try and do it all in the next two and a half days or so because I'm leaving for vacation on, uh, I don't know, it's like Friday or Saturday, but I don't know. So, but um, anyways, so I got a bunch, I got a bunch, I, like I have all my tickets on me, but, like, I always, because I always keep all my tickets from the games I go to, just think it's cool to collect them, to, like, see, like, save them to see, like, oh, like, these are how many games I went to or whatever, but I'm gonna, just gonna stop talking, so, I don't remember the day, but it was, like, May 17th, I wanna say, but, um, I went versus, like, um, on May 17th, um, since, at that time, for high school baseball, we had went on, okay, so, oh, I'm just gonna let you guys know, this is gonna be, this video may be a lot of me talking because you'll see why. And then in the next recap after that, um, I was also going for Tukey to Sant, to Sant, but um, turns out he was actually starting that day. I didn't even know it, so uh, that like that day I only had gotten ten autos. So this is gonna be a video of me talking. So if you want to skip, I'll leave the times that I show the materials below, so you can that I show the stuff that's worth seeing below. So you guys don't have to listen to me talking or whatever. But um. So at the, when it was this day at this time for high school baseball, um, we had went on a six game winning streak. So our coach gave us the day off from practice. So it was Clinton's first day in, and Alex Jackson, the sixth overall pick in this past year's draft, was here. So I'm like, why not? I'll go try. It's um maybe not that hopefully maybe not that many people will be there since it's a weekday game and obviously. We all, like, it's not the summertime yet or whatever, so I went. We'll just say it was a total waste of time. Alex Jackson, I'm sorry for my language. I never talk bad about play. I try never to talk bad about players, but he was just a real big asshole, like, really. Not straight out of high school, and just he doesn't even acknowledge his fans. It's just horrible. I'm not even going to get into it. But there was a there was a, a decent amount of graphers there, just under ten probably. But three of our three people, include include myself and two of my friends, we were the only ones there that put in work to try and get him, and we just went zero for seven pregame with him, and it was a total waste of time. And it turns out he ends up signing by the bus, and of course I had. This this is right when the school year is about done. There's like at this time there's like two and a half to three weeks before the school year is done. So I'm having to take a bunch of finals tests already. So and study up for that. So I wasn't able to stay for post game. And then this is in May. Like if you live in Wisconsin, you know what I mean. And like the past two years, the May weather has just been so weird. At least because it's been warm, then cold, warm and cold. And then also at that time it was like freezing cold that night. So I also that too is another reason that kept me from staying. But anyways, it paid off because I did get some a game used item. So I'm just gonna go over here. Um, Rattler's third baseman Sterwin Matos was nice enough to hook me up with my first game used bat that I got from a play. Oh shoot, from a player himself. Like, I got one, but that was through a friend that I got that from. So, uh, here we go. I'm just going to show that right here. A Rollins big stick. I'm just going to try and show it. Like, there's, like, some ball marks. Then some other marks right here. The lighting's not really good, so forgive me, guys. Just going to show it. There's still a lot of pine tar. It's still really sticky. And then um, there's a crack right there. Then it's like all the way up to here. Goes all the way up there. Then um, here's the bat knob. It's gotten a little bit banged up in the bottom. But number nine for Sturban Matos. 
So yeah, I just want to give a big shout out to him for giving that to me. I still haven't gotten it signed yet, which I honestly could have, but like I've only brought it with me like two times ever since. So I'm just well, I'm just gonna set the camera down real quick. So bear with me. Let's move that back over. Alrighty guys, so I could have honestly gotten that bat done, but um just say the security like it's the security there is almost like in, in the Timber Atlas games there's almost like big league people. It's like obviously they don't do it like the big league games for autograph rules wise, but like for security I'm like entering the ballpark, excluding like those airport thingies, like that's well excluding well it's not like a regular big league game where, okay, well, let me rephrase this. All right, it's not like a regular big league game for autograph rules wise, but they they have like all these security guards now or whatever, like checking your bag. So oh, they don't let you bring bats into the stadium anymore. I'm I'm pretty sure they don't. I could be wrong, but um, I never tried. But yeah, I've gotten my mates Matos a bunch of times in between then, so. I'm just waiting for an afternoon, like, Sunday game, and the season's almost over, basically, so I gotta get that done quick. That I can just get it to him, but it's, like, in the games I've brought, I've went to, I, like, I've only brought, like, twice in the ever since, like I mentioned, but, um, yeah, so that was that, and then I got that, so I was really happy to get that, and I do have, um, proof that, oh, like, two people were with me when I got that, my brother were, and my brother was, and then a buddy of mine that I graph with. So yeah, I uh, didn't get any autos that night, which was pretty unfortunate, but because all, all I really did was shoot for Alex Jackson, but like I said, total waste of time. But anyways, um, I'll just show the quick recap that I did from Kane County and the Timber Rattlers from, this was a, I'm just going to dig up my tickets because I don't remember the date. Just give me a second. Alrighty, guys, it was, um, the Clinton Lumber Kings game was May 11th, and the game versus the Cougars was May 17th. Um, so, I got to the game late because I was staying at my friend's, then I went to my cousin's house. So we stayed up late all night until, well, really late, I don't even remember what time, but the, it was like a 1 o'clock game, I didn't get up till 10.45, so I had to, we all had to get ready and stuff, so by the time we got there, it was like, 1230 so then I like striker Tra I asked my buddies and all I needed from King County was striker Trahan and Tuki Tassant but then I found out what well, has I got to the ballpark that Tassant was starting and so but Trahan didn't come out till um basically the game started and Tassant he was starting but he was gonna come and sign but then the pitching coach just ran if the pitching coach came out just a few minutes later then I would have gotten to Santa there, but they's like he'll sign after the game, guys. Just summing it up. So summing it up, the game actually got rained out, so I really got screwed over autograph wise that day. So I only got ten autographs that day. So it's like there was a post game signing, and then post game out, and then post game at the bus, and post game at the Rattlers parking lot. So I really got screwed over that day, and then Trahan ends up getting promoted to Velasia or Velasia in the Cal League, or however you want to say that, but, um, so, but, so I got one of my friends to trade me a Trahan Auto, but I'm still waiting on him for that, because he forgot it the last game I was at, and then, um, to Santa ends up getting traded before Kane County was supposed to come back, he get, got traded to Atlanta, obviously, if you don't, if you didn't know that already, so, was out of luck for them, and uh, I was out of luck on trying to get him, and, my friends to Sans weren't for trade, so I just messaged him on Instagram asking him if I could send him a if I could send him a card to get signed and he said, Sure thing, bud. So but yeah, anyways what I got. Could have had a lot more of that day, but anyways, uh this day on May seventeenth the team set came out, so uh anyways I got Gian Rizzo on one of one, Greg McCall on one of one, Mitch Meyer on one of one. Oh, these are all guys I got one of one that day. Luis Ortega, one of one. Angel Ventura, one of one. Tyler Linehan, one of one. Josh Ewan, one of one. Um, and the tough 
but it was always good to me, good and nice to me. Monty Harrison on one of one, and then Zach Hirsch on one of one, and then finishing it out, I got Jacob Gatewood on one of one. At that time, I'd only handed him one card because I think he he honestly he honestly I think he thought I was honestly a dealer to be honest. So, uh, yeah, that was it for that day, guys. So. Not much in this video, just a lot, a lot of talking. So I will put the times below on where to start watching from. But anyways, guys, that's it for me. So thank you for watching and stay tuned for a lot more videos. Thank you.